Hello to my beautiful friends. It is Miss Fushi and we are back with a new game that I wanted to show to you guys. This is called Niche or Niche, however you pronounce that. It is a genetic survival game and it is open access on Steam. I originally found it uh, from a content creator called Jessie Mew and I actually watched her first episode and I've played this a little bit on my own and I wanted to introduce it to you guys. It is not a completed game, but what has been done so far is really, really cool and I wanted to show you guys, so I hope that you enjoy. We are going to go ahead and start a new game and let's see. We'll call it Potatopia because of you guys. Let's go ahead and begin. And I will teach you the ways of the game. Not very good yet, but I hope to become better in time. It's really fun. All right. So, when this game starts out, we have two characters. We have Eve, who is our female, because she doesn't have any sort of mane. And then we have Adam, who is our male, and he has this mane here. Now each of our animals has different attributes that you can see down here on the bottom of the screen. Actually, let me go ahead and make this full screen for my personal benefit. There we go. Perfect. Now I can see a little better on my end. So, um, just to give you a basic rundown, our character, each of our little characters here has a duration of life. Eventually they get old and they pass away. They also can receive damage from bad guys hiding in the grass, and whenever they get hurt, this bar begins to fill up with red, and when the red and the old age meet, they die. So our goal is we want to procreate this little world here with our characters, with babies and things like that. So let's do that first. We've got our girl here, and we've got Adam, so let's go ahead and click on Eve. She gets three turns because there are three little gems on her chest. And if we click here on the heart, she will mate with Adam. And now you see her belly gets big, and we get a little icon down here that says that she's pregnant. So if we leave her in the nest and wait one full day, she will have a baby. So since we've only got two turns left on her and we don't want her to move, we can gather food from this bush. One and two. And you look down here and see we've got 23 pieces of food and every turn you go, you have to use a piece of food. So now we have Adam here and he's got three moves. Now we can move to this piece of grass or we can look in it. I'm going to look because I always wanna be sure that there's no enemies there. And now you can see both of their heads are down. They're not following the mouse. It means that turn is over. And to give you guys a scope of what we're working with, this is the island we get to explore. You see that? It's pretty neat. And I'm excited to see what's on our island. So let's go ahead and zoom back in. And we will progress to the next day by clicking the bottom right hand corner. There we are. So it is raining and we have a new little baby. You can click here and see its name is Kome. And here are Kome's attributes. Every creature in the game has different attributes that you can see down here. Like for example, Adam has a venomous poison fang, which gives him plus two to his attack. He's got a one on his collecting. But then we look over here on Eve and see that she's got a two on collecting, which means she can collect more food. So we should assign her to be the collector of the group. Let's take a look at our little baby and we have a little girl. And it doesn't look like she inherited the poison fangs from Papa or the collecting paw. So she seems like a pretty basic little creature, but she does have some recessive genes we can see down here, like smelling. I'm still learning about those. So, for this turn, we're going to move Mama here, and we can inspect, and there's a nest, 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and gather some more food with her as well. The baby can't move this turn since it's just been born, so let's try and move Papa. And let's look around, and there we go. So now we end our turn. See, this is cool. It's really simple, but you can see how it gets complex. So now our little baby has gotten a little bigger and has one gemstone. I'm going to go ahead and move him out of the nest. And then I will move Mama back. Move Papa. And I will let Mama do the mating and then gather food. So now she's pregnant again. And then Papa can go here and look in that grass. And there we go. It's really, really neat, I think. So we have another baby, you guys. Take a look. It is a boy named Kuvan. And he inherited the collecting paw, which is awesome. So we did get a little bit there. And as you explore, you can find other animals that have like different characteristics and stuff. It's really cool. So we look around and everything seems pretty basic there. We'll use the baby to peek in that bush. And then maybe we should start exploring a little bit more with Mama. So let's gather some of that. And Mom can move there. Perfect. And every time it rains, you can see tons of berries start to gather. We can use the baby to get berries. And we can even move this baby here and use them to get berries. You see that? Mom can get some, and then we can look in both these areas. <gasps> Did you guys see that? One of the bushes is shaking. <gasps> oh, you guys, look at this. We found... Oh, I just mated with her on accident. Oh my gosh. Well, that's embarrassing. But we just found a new member of our tribe. And it is a female, Kosame. And she has five in strength, so she's very strong, and she's pregnant. So, I'm gonna have her... Oh, and she can cut down berry bushes, too. I'm gonna have her cut down that berry bush. Oh, see, we get a bit more food. I'm gonna have her hop over here, and then look at this rock. Because she is gonna have a baby next turn, because I accidentally made it with her. I feel so silly, you guys accidental meeting and she has a baby and look at that so this baby has three speed and five in strength i don't see a berry paw though it looks like they have a limp paw so they probably can't gather food interesting but they did get these ram horns that are really cool now i want to show you guys something else since we've made some progress there is a mutation menu and it looks like you can choose some of these characteristics that you've already found. Obviously, there's several that we haven't. And you can drop them here, and there's a chance, 30% or 10, that your offspring can inherit these mutations. So let's take a look at what we have. We've got something for a pattern. There are different color manes you can do. You can do antlers. You can do ram's horns. Those are cool. I like those. There's a big nose. A big body. Oh, that's neat. A small body. A spit snout. They look really funny when they get those. I can't wait to show you guys. So, all different characteristics. I'd like to do... Maybe the ability to have the venom. The poison fangs. That'd be really great for fighting. And... Maybe smelling so that we can smell predators or something like that when they come close. So we've now assigned those. Let's back out a little bit and take a look. So we've got a baby here, a baby here. Let's use this baby to gather food and use this one to go and peek down there. And now this mama can look around for us too. And then this mama. <gasps> We have so many nests, you guys. This is crazy. And if you look down here, we've got five food. We want to be very careful about um, using up all of our food resources. So let's see. He can go there and let's go ahead and end our turn. We'll need to gather some food next time. Perfect. So now we can... Uh, that's right. We should be able to cut this bush down then since they don't have a berry paw. 
See, this little baby can't gather any food, but if we cut it down, we can still get food and it'll grow back, which is very cool. So this little baby's getting bigger. He's looking nice and handsome and strong. We'll use him to look there. And let's travel in groups and you can look up there. So this girl is pretty strong. I like her. Let's look all around. Make sure. Oh, you guys saw that little icon? That means that we are running out of food. And if any animals make moves when they're hungry, you can see right there, it actually hurts them, which is horrible, but it does. And I don't like to hurt anybody, so let's go ahead and gather up some food before we make any more moving actions. There we go, now we're at six. Perfect. So we can look around, and there we go. End of turn. <gasps> Did you guys hear a growling noise? I don't know if you heard it, but there was a growling noise, and I think there's something there. So first, let me gather food. So we've got some more moves. She's pretty strong, so let's move her. <gasps> Do you guys see that? There's a bad guy right there. And what that can do is attack us. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should try and fight it. Alright guys, so here's the deal. If we look down this left-hand corner, we see Kosume is actually quite old and she's injured from when I used her without having food. So what we can do is we can try and run away from this bad guy or we can attack it. And I think that we should try because if we kill it, we can actually get food from it and our tribe needs food. So because of her age, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice Kosume and give it a try so we can click on him and see we hurt him pretty bad but I have a feeling he's gonna take her out next turn there's a chance let's see how strong everybody is so he's pretty powerful maybe all right we're out of food do you think we should still attack you want to give it a try I'm gonna give it a try let's see oh we're so close I don't want anybody to get hurt though, so I'm gonna go the next turn. And he died, and that was a result of the poison that Adam put on. So, now we can gather up this food. First, let me gather one of those, and I'll move here and I'll gather that. And look at the amount of food that we get. Look at that. Wow, 10 pieces from him, which is fantastic. So now she it looks like she's at the end of her life about so I don't think she's gonna be able to mate again um, Let's go ahead and let's look around so we are not caught Unawares because that would be terrible There we go, and I think we are going to be losing her next turn so let's use our little babies to check these borders here Okay, we can gather some food there and look there and watch guys see right there she passed away and she turns into that skeleton there and that's because she her life and her damage met so now we have a tribe of we've got two boys and how old is he getting he's still doing pretty good he's doing all right but we should go ahead and make some more babies so I'm going to mate him with her I'm gonna have her pick some berries and then move here. And she's hurt. Oh. Let's see, you've got a better paw for picking food. I'll let you pick food and then I will look here. And since we don't have any more food, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next turn. <gasps> okay, we have another little baby here. There's something in this bush. Oh, I like the way the bottom, they twist their heads down there. We need to go ahead and gather this food here. And actually, can you mate? You can. Good deal. Good deal. And then I'm going to move him here. And then I don't want to do anything else because we don't have food. So we are waiting for food to come our way. And salvation is our answer. Look at that. 
get all that food. Delicious. And then let's use you to look. <gasps> you guys, look who we found. It's a new friend. Here, I'll move and take a look. Look at that. This is Ricola, and she has, she's definitely got the spits now. Look at her mouth. Oh, but she's perfect. So we can use her now. We can mate her with him. And then we can end up moving her here. Let me use her to grab some food so that we can finish moving her here without starving her. And then you can move here and cut down that berry bush. I know it hurt her, but I did want to get that food. And then we should be able to, let's see, what else should we do? You can stay there. We should be able to use you to look, look, and look. Perfect. Now we move on to the next turn. Excellent, and now we have a new little baby from our little outsider here. Three in strength. It's an okay little baby. It's a little girl named Coco. Excellent. So we will use this one here to gather food. We don't have very much food going on, you guys, but there is no shortage of things that we can use here. I like that this little baby inherited the venomous fangs. That's going to be awesome. So, it looks like there is food down this way. There's a bunny. You guys, we can attack the bunny. Watch this. I know we killed the bunny, but we can't gather the food from the bunny yet. I wonder if I could get far enough. Pick that up. Perfect. There, we got the food from the bunnies. I don't think we can get this guy over there in time, can we? <gasps> there we did. We got rid of that bunny too. I know it's really sad. And then we have no food, so I will go to the next turn. <gasps> I hear another growl, you guys. Okay, who should we use to pick up that food? We should use... Pick up that food, slash that bunny, pick up that food from that bunny. Perfect. And then we can use you to slash that bush and get food. And then there's a bad guy, you guys. Okay, we're gonna fight, fight, and we got it poisoned, which is great. And we're gonna keep you there. See, actually, you can go ahead and mate with him. This way we're gonna have a baby. And then let's go back over here and see what's going on here. So, gather up some food, little one. And then, you. Let's let your baby or you. You've got a better chance. You can gather some food. And then you can gather some food too. And then I'm gonna save these turns because I'm probably gonna want them to fight over here. Let's take a look. Okay, so it doesn't look like anybody got attacked. That's wonderful. I'm very happy about that. Let's move this girl over here. Slash that bush to get us some more food. And then our strong, powerful man. How much damage have we got? We're doing good. I'm gonna move here. And we defeated him, you guys. We got him. Perfect. We can't pick up the food because nobody's close by to that spot where he died. So, we're gonna go back over here, pick that up, go back over here, pick that up, get that one, peek, peek, excellent. And then maybe we can move you here. <gasps> Look at that, more berries, I love it. We are doing pretty good, you guys, I'm happy. And now it's raining, so there's lots and lots of berries. So, we can pick pick that up there. We can have the mate, and she can go there. Because he's getting older, so we're losing our ability to have him to mate with our females. So we want to be able to use him as much as we can. She had a little baby. We've got five on strength with those horns. Not bad. I'm going to move her here so she can slash up that bush and have her peek in those different areas there. 
Something really cool about trees is you can actually use them to get more food, which is awesome. I'm excited to show you guys that too. So let's use this baby to peek here and peek there. Excellent. Then we can use this little girl here to get all those. We've got a bunny. We can take that rabbit down and that rabbit and gather food. Bring this mama here, gather this, and gather that. And then we can move this baby over. It's a girl, right? Move her over here so she can check out those bottom bushes. All right, guys. Go over here and our baby's a little bit bigger. We've got a new baby here who got those beautiful poison fangs, which is wonderful. And it looks like we're going to be losing Papa soon. Adam is going to pass on. So let's move our baby over here by the tree. I'm going to move Mama there, breed, and move you right there so we can have one more baby from Papa. And then I'm going to see, move you there, breed, and then you can pick up that food so she will be pregnant again even when he passes on. Then we can use him to look, and there we go. And I'm guessing we're going to lose him next turn. Now as you can see you guys, we've explored these areas, but there's not currently any of our little creatures in them. So we don't have a line of sight, so they go dark, which means anything could be lurking in here, which is kind of neat. Oh, look at how cute our little baby's looking. Okay, we're going to make him get some food, and then I think I want to breed again. So you go here, breed, and then go here. Perfect. Little baby can look there. You have a berry paw, so I'll get you to pick up that food, and you can pick up that food too, and you can go exploring. Excellent. All right, so we look over here, and it's as we thought. <gasps> Eve passed away too, you guys. See, I didn't think about that. So Eve is now gone. So we have these little babies here to carry on for them. And then there's mama. Mama. Okay, so there's something going on in this bush. Thank goodness it's a bunny. I didn't know what it was going to be. And we've got one little baby here. We've got this one. Let's see. Let's use this baby. Can I click on you? Doesn't look like this baby's going to do anything. doesn't let me click on that baby for some reason. Maybe because mom is not nearby. Okay, so let's use this one to gather up some food. This one, we can do some more exploring. Perfect. We'll use you to do some more exploring. And we'll do some more exploring with you as well. Excellent. And then what? What? What characteristics does your baby have? It looks like Kurtaro. It's a little white thing with a tuft on its head. That's cute. You can look in this bush and go here and then look there. And there we go. And then this little guy will make him pick some food. Perfect, you guys. Okay. I'm glad we're not seeing a bunch of bad guys. I'm happy about that. You can gather some food. You can gather some as well from that tree, and I'll move you here so you'll be prepared to gather from the tree next turn. We'll cut down that bush and have you look there. Excellent. And you've got a berry paw of two, so we're going to have you gather food. This is the derpiest looking little baby, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> we will have you go... You have a berry paw of three, so we're going to put you near the berries. You'll be very useful for that. And then you have a berry paw of two. Let's see. Can you pick some for us? Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. We'll be able to use you guys to start looking around more. Oops. I just mated them by accident. Oops. There we go. Perfect. 
and you, why don't you look here and here and move there? You can move there and look here. Excellent. I'm a little bit of a goof. So here's how far we've gone through the island. Let's see. All right, here is the feature of the trees I can show you guys. It's really cool. So the trees drop these acorns. So we can click on this character and have them shake it and more acorns fall. Then we can use another one to pick them up, which is really neat. See that? So we have like a replenishable source of food, which is really awesome. I'm gonna put you here and have you gather those berries. And then this guy can look around a little bit and we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet in the middle. This one has a great berry pot, so we'll use that there. And you've already had your baby, so we'll come up here and gather more berries. And you can come here and gather more. And you can join them. Beautiful. So we've only got one piece of food left. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go to the next turn. Excellent. Oh, is that a bunny? Oh no, we need to gather more food. I'm so silly. I got distracted by the bunny, you guys. Did you see that? So distracted by the bunny. Okay, let's hop over here. And you can gather food. And you can gather food. And they can get it from there. Shake the tree. And then you can get more. Excellent. It's not a ton of food, but it's it's enough, I suppose. You can get some as well. And you can look around here. I want to see if I can make it, like, I guess, off this island would be the best way to go about that. Let's see. Perfect. And you can change your angle, which is really cool. I don't like to do it too much, because then I get kind of discombobulated, as you can see. Where should we move you to, sweetheart? Um, I guess I'll put you here. And then what about you? I'll leave you there, because we're out of food for now. Excellent. So you're really good at gathering. We need to get those bushes more filled up. And we've got our little baby down here. Who's got a better paw? You've got a better berry paw. Oh, you can mate with this one. We can put you there, and you can have your little funny looking baby. Let's see, so this, as you guys can see, it's a very... It's not a super turbo exciting game, but I still really enjoy it. <laughs> Yes, as you guys can see this game, it's very peaceful and it's still in open access so it's not completely finished but it is a very very neat game and I like it so far plus I like how they you can make them follow your hands and stuff like that look look at the the one on the left like right here look okay <laughs> look at its head Look at what it's doing. It's so cute. But yes, and look at the long little long-tailed bunny right here. It's really cute. But yeah, um, that is this game. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I've been playing it a lot on my own. I'm not incredibly skilled at it yet. Um, basically what you do is you explore this whole area and you get to one of these little platforms here, and every character that you put on these different colored blocks here and then you you put one on this silver one here you go to the next level and i've done it several times on my own and the next level is always there's way more bad guys there's rogue characters that are out there there's all this crazy stuff and it's very very difficult and so my goal would be to stay here and to build up a very strong 
group of creatures and then proceed because you want to make sure you have plenty of food and plenty of strength before you go to the next area because everything you have carries over there and so far I have not done very well so um, I think I need to buckle down and focus but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this game you can also let me know as well I'd be very happy to show you and yeah like this video comment subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.